What's up YouTube? It is your boy Lopes and welcome back to another video and today we are working on the tension tip like I said we're gonna do one of the more simple mods that any of you can do. You don't need to bring this to mechanic or anything like that. It's gonna add a little bit of downforce, a little bit of looks, maybe a lot of looks and I'm uncertain if I'm gonna like it on the car or not but I bought it anyway. So you probably know by the title but uh, let's show you what we got and if you guys are noticing hey, hey there's more Lopes merch, $45 for sweaters. Hats are on the way, this, oh, there's this hair there. <sighs> These are in the making, this is the, kind of one of the prototype ones, and uh, it looks pretty good. As you guys can see, this is, we got a snapback, we're gonna have some mesh backs, and we have some custom order ones too. You gotta pre-order them, I'm not gonna be having a ton of supply yet, unless they're super popular, uh, but let me know if you guys like it down below. Something simple, but looks cool. All right, let's get into the video. So this was the lovely box that it came in, and what we are going to install is a spoiler extension from car use so i'm excited to try this and see how it looks this is the packaging that it came in it's a little bright let's see if it's going to darken and i'll show you exactly how it's going to work and how it's going to fit but it should be pretty easy mind you that let's check it out all right so there's some wet paper towel we're going to clean it really really good And then we're gonna dry it. I don't have any microfiber cloths or else I'd be using that. They're all dirty at the moment. Make sure to get all around and you gotta make sure you dry this properly. There we go, nice and clean. As you guys can see, it's looking very good. I'll be honest, I wasn't sure if I wanted this or not yet. I'm gonna take it out of the packaging. You guys can see, I wasn't sure if I wanted this or not yet just because I don't know if it's gonna be too much or not enough or it's not gonna flow, but I think I'm going to, I'm gonna leave this on for now, but I think I'm gonna get rid of this type R diffuser thing, Majigi, and just keep it cleaner. And I might get rid of the red emblem and just go silver to complement the wheels. If you guys haven't seen, they are dirty, but we got new wheels, 18 by nine and a half plus 40, NK NTO three plus M's. So pretty excited. Let's open this up and see. <laughs> how it looks I haven't put it on uh, perfectly yet I just kind of lined it up and I think it looks really good on the black car and it really extends the way the rear kind of looks and makes it a little more aggressive the whole thing of the rear of this car has always been a little challenge to make it look good so the ABS dynamics rear diffuser with this I think it may be too busy with that so the type R diffuser may go but the fitment looks pretty good and I think it really just kind of gives it that little bit of flair that that needs check that out I think it actually looks really good what do you guys think down below I'm going to take the 3m tape off and put it on properly and give myself some markers of it being centered so I know how to do it and where to place it but the car is coming together like I said I think once I remove that this will flow a little better I think it's just too busy with it and this is part of the v2 that I'm trying to accomplish this year is make the car a little more cleaner so what I'm doing is I'm using this little body line right here if it can focus in this body line and I'm trying to equal out this little body line right here between this gap and this side here which to me looks pretty good as you guys can see I'm gonna put a piece of painter tape here and over here just to make sure I get a good fitment and I align it properly by myself. If you had two people, it's definitely a little easier, but at the end of the day, it's 3M, so if you do mess it up, you can always remove it and buy some more, and it should look fine. So I've put the painter's tape there, and I'm gonna use that to help me align. I just made sure it was straight, and then same with this side, and then I'm gonna use it once again to give me a bit of help aligning it so that I know when I do press it down, it is taped properly. That was just an extra step that I did, what we're going to do now is we're going to have to remove the tape from here and here, here and here. Once that is on, we will place it, center it, and then we're going to lift, we're going to lift this, this lid or the spoiler, and we're going to take off this big guy all across here. So let's do that now. I'm going to place you guys down now and uh, let's see how it turns out.
so it looks pretty good adds a bit of a flare yeah it looks pretty good what i would do is like i did the tape helps you align where you have to go and then afterwards uh the only thing i wouldn't do is i removed the tape from this corner i would have left that loose because that gave me a bit of an issue trying to put it on and i would just take off the tape coming this way so it'd be easier for you to remove it or align it and stuff so but it looks pretty good if you can see the body line here and the body line here looks pretty equal i'm not gonna lie and it looks pretty good i'm not i'm i think i like it better than i expected uh what do you guys think down below especially on the black car it really just extends the way it looks um and what i like about it it kind of flows with the oem spoiler instead of just getting cut off like their v1 that's why i didn't grab the v1 but uh that definitely has got to go to me this it's too busy now I'm definitely happy with the way it looks. I'm gonna do a few cinematic shots. The car is dirty, so don't mind you that, but hope you guys enjoy. Hey, Isa. Hey, Indies. Save me. Hey. Uh, back on deck on my fly shit. Uh, really on, really on my shit. Uh, pay some respect to my mindset. Hair blowing smoke, catch a contact. Niggas really mad, they can't stop us. Back on the scene, young conscious. Always been me, I'm popping. I ain't really here for the gossip, nah. Blah, blah. So a few things I've noticed shooting, um, the tape here is not sticking as well as I would like and it looks like I have a small gap back here so I'm going to try seeing, I've pushed it as close as I can so I wonder if that's just a fitment, I wonder if it gets tighter down the middle, uh, but the tape's here so I'm just going to heat up, press it down and I'm definitely going to remove that. Another thing is, if this does get in the way of your rear view mirror a bit, if that's something that annoys you guys, that just a heads up but you do block some of your vision and uh yeah and you shouldn't go through a car wash within 24 hours of doing this just so the tape can adhere properly uh, but the tape looks good on this side and we still have that similar gap as we do on that side so that's why i'm thinking the gap is just the way it's designed this may look a little bigger but if we look here it looks like it's pretty even all the way across so that is it i hope you guys like it uh i'm 50 50 kind on i'm gonna try fixing the small little things uh, but i think it looks good it has to grow on me but i definitely have to remove that window visor the back is a little busy and don't worry i have side skirts and a front lip coming so it's all gonna come together perfectly hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks so much for watching i love you guys make sure you do it once do it right peace out like comment subscribe there you go